Look who here. <laughs> We're back with uh, Tanny. She contacted me. She was asking me for help about uh, deciphering some confusing texts from this gentleman named John, a guy who claimed he was interested over some text messages, but he stood her up twice. Now, what she didn't know is that I flew John out here to explain what he really means in person. <laughs> See, the reason I did this, cause I'm old school. Because old school still works. See, texting is always confusing. You can't look in a person's eyes when they text. You can't listen to voice inflection when they text. You gotta start communicating just like it's always done. Boy meets girl, girl meets boy, eye to eye. Now let's see what we got. So now, here we are, <laughs> let's get back to it. So John, do you think you feel the same connection that Tanny does? Yes. Uh, at first I wasn't sure, I knew it was there, but I still had doubts. We were on the opposite side of the country. Didn't know how it was gonna work. All right, John, let me just ask you this. There was a, a little shadiness in the beginning, the standing her up. What was that about? Why, why did you stand her up? First time, um, it was because of the relationship part, to be honest. When she came, surprised me. I just did, wasn't ready to come out and see her yet at that time. Um, the second time, uh, the relationship was over. It was more personal. Uh, that day was a very bad day. And angry, I was angry at other stuff as well. I'm a father as well, so I was pissed off at other stuff with my family. And I didn't want her to see that. Let me stop for a second. Tanny, how you feel hearing this so far? I feel a little confused, but I mean, of course, you know, I came here to talk to you about this. I didn't expect you to show up. <laughs> um, but I mean, there was a part of me that wanted answers. And of course, like many other women, we always want this person that we had this idea of to just show up and prove us wrong in some kind of way. So let, let me ask you this. What would make you feel better about this? Consistency. And his actions speaking louder than his words because he's really good with his words. But need some action and you're here, so that's a big action. So what would you like to say to Tanny? First off, I want to apologize about the confusion. And secondly, I want to apologize about my true feelings for you. I've never felt this way about anyone else before. And you deserve it all. You deserve it all for me. I'm just asking you for a second chance. I came all the way out here in front of these people <laughs> to tell you that. So I'm asking you. You said you want action, so I'm asking, well, will you allow me to take you out on a date? On a real date? A real proper date. You gonna date. bring your wallet? Yes. <laughs> okay. I will give you a third chance, because that's actually what this is. Okay, great. <laughs> so, if the two of you are serious about giving this a proper shot, I got a car outside. I'm gonna let you go out on me. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to go out, just have fun. You have one mission. Okay. To allow him to show you who he really is. That's your only mission. <laughs> In 90 days, I want you all to let me know how it's going. Okay. I appreciate you so much. Uh, we're gonna meet another couple that took a different route to get out of the red. Please welcome Leo and Faith. <laughs> so Faith, yes. did you know that Leo was in debt before you married him? I did. However, I had a lot more debt than what he had. And so I actually took out an additional $8,000 from Sally Mae in order to fund my lifestyle while I was in school. And when we got married, we, together, we had $212,000 of debt. Really? Yes. So, Leo, when, when did you know you were in trouble? Uh, well, we talked to our uh, counts, uh, pastors about um, premarital counseling, and they asked us to talk about what the purpose of our marriage was. And when we went back and discussed it, we wanted to be a family that gave, and we wanted to have a big family of six children. And the biggest thing standing in our way was our debt. Okay, so, Lynn, how, how much should a couple save before they plan to start a family? Well, if you're gonna have six children, you need to save a whole lot of money. 
Because let me tell you something. Children have to eat every single day. There's no days off. They have to eat every single day. <laughs> and if I had six kids, some would eat on Mondays and Wednesdays, and the others <laughs> would eat on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Because I just can't feed that many people every day. And on your day off, you'd have to lie, pray, or steal. I don't know. But <laughs> what you have to do, though, seriously, is be strategic. Save every single penny you can. Y'all made some lifestyle changes. Mm -hmm. And you all wind up saving $104,221. How did you do that? Yeah, so we have a very strict budget that we refuse to compromise on. Yes. Um, we decided that we were going to carpool with one another to work. Yes. Um, and oh, so with each other. With each other, yeah. And so we've saved actually around $2,000 a year for gas by carpooling. Yes. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> so we pack our lunches every single day, and we have been able to save about $3,000 a year from yes. packing our lunches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do not eat out, rarely ever eat out. Um, Leo actually has a really old iPhone. He has the iPhone 5S, yeah. and that it costs us about $22 a month. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any cable. We actually have an antenna that we use, so we don't have a cable bill. Wow, I love it. Yeah. That's he pretty good. Here's another thing. When I was rebuilding, after losing everything and sticking to a strict budget, I paid all my bills one day out of the month. That's 12 days out of the year that money goes out, and that meant there were 353 days that I had to focus on it coming in. Okay, so let me ask you two something. You've, you've done this budgeting, which is, like, amazing, and I commend you for it. Mm -hmm. do, do you have a plan to just make some more money? Yes, so we work five jobs between the two of us. Amen. We have our two primary jobs. Amen. And we have three side jobs that we do. Yes. Multiple streams really? of income. Yes, so Faith babysits, and she also works overnight taking care of newborns, and I pick up jobs at the hospital and work almost every Saturday and almost every holiday. And between our side jobs, in nine months, we've been able to um, pay off or earn $51,000 from side jobs alone. That we See? put straight towards debt. Yeah. Like, yes. we didn't pocket any of that. So outside of our tithes, yes. outside of our taxes, we paid all the rest of it yeah. towards our outside debt. Outside of what now? Our tithing and oh, then taxes. Oh, yeah. 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 So, Darius and Elizabeth, how, how does something like this sound to you? Sounds good, and we're going to do it. It's way harder to be poor yes. than it is to be successful. It, it's just harder. I, I've had it. I, I, I had a condition. I had, went to the doctor, and I couldn't figure out. I was always... I was... My inner thighs and outer legs and back was always itching. I went to the doctor. I thought it was stress. Couldn't nobody tell me nothing. And I finally figured it out myself. I was allergic to poverty. <laughs> I was just sitting up. You ever sitting up just be digging? Yeah. <laughs> you, I'm telling you right now. Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Congratulations for what you've done. Thank That's you. beautiful. Congratulations for taking new steps to yes. get yourself together, save your family, get your house back. If you bought a house one time and you had a great job, it ain't, ain't, it no one, ain't no way you can't do it again. Sorry. You can do it again. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Thank you all for coming. We're 65 years old. We ca she's here to celebrate her birthday with me. Uh, we dress alike. <laughs> we finish each other's sentences. We, um, you know... We've never celebrated a birthday apart. This is our situation. Uh, now, we don't live together and all of that, but because we are so close, uh, we're both single, there are times when uh, the gentlemen that we meet don't understand our closeness. So what we're trying to do is maintain the twinness, but at the same time, help whoever, part, whoever gentleman we're with understand our closeness and accept it and appreciate it. How do we go about doing that and still have a fun time relationship? Well... Have, have you ever, anybody, any of you ever been married before? Oh, several times. <laughs> huh? Several times, yes. Yes, we've been married before, Steve. Cut it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cut whoa. it out. Yes, we've been married before. Five times? Yes, sir. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, you've been married five times? Yes, sir. Uh, what about the other one? Uh, two. One was, is deceased. <laughs> one is deceased. And then I've been married twice. And, but the situation is, Steve, when we meet somebody, they don't understand the twinness. Do anybody understand? <laughs> yeah. 
You done confused everybody in this no, room. No. no, I understand what you're saying. I have twins. They complete each other's sentence. Yeah. One of them's married with the family. The other one's not. They tried to live in separate cities. Uh, that didn't work for them. They lived in separate cities for a little while, but they missed each other. So the one that wasn't married moved to the same city. Well, I understood that. You know, that was, that was cool. But they, they don't dress alike. <laughs> we do. They stopped that at 15. They, they, <laughs> at 15, man, they said, uh-uh. <laughs> one of them like long hair, the other one want her hair short. You know, so. Thank you. Did you hear what he said? <laughs> oh, so you want a little bit more identity? Thank yes. Oh, and you think y'all need to just keep doing the twin thing? Yes. <laughs> do, do you see how I look, Steve? Uh-huh. You would be surprised. Steve, you see how I look, even the shoes? Uh-huh. She bought this. The hair. <laughs> so you can, you can say on TV? Yes, sir. That she bought your hair? Yes. I love this. Yes! Back to the dating, Steve. How can we keep our... I can't help y'all. Let, <laughs> let me just stop. We'll do it. I can't help y'all. No, really, I can't. Y'all too much. <laughs> y'all talk at the same time. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> y'all close. Y'all want to be away from each other. She done bought you some hair. I don't know. <laughs> What the hell going on? Well, y'all been married seven times between the two of y'all. Five, you've been married five times, which says you know how to get a man. Okay, how about this right here? Okay. Give me that right there. <laughs> they just told me to give you both a makeover. Yeah! Okay, what? Okay, now, this is what we're gonna do. Okay. We're gonna bring y'all back. Thank you, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do your complete makeover where you all look gorgeous, because you're very attractive ladies. Thank you. You're gonna look gorgeous, but you're gonna look completely yeah. different. Yeah. What? what are you doing? <laughs> Raindrop, truck, 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 smoking, no cooking, no hot pot. I keep working on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.